Makan was his name, and Lubana was his surname, or his family name. In those days, he was a very rich merchant. He used to have his ships going back and forth across the ocean. And you know that the ships in those days were not as big and not as seaworthy as they are now. Once when Makan Lubana was coming back after doing his business, his ship got caught in a storm, and there was no chance of saving it. When he saw that there was no way out, he asked the people on deck, is there any way to protect ourselves from this calamity? There was one satsangi of Guru Nanak sitting in that ship. He said, yes, there is only one way out, and that is prayer. He said, after Guru Nanak, there have been many great saints on his gadi, or seat. And if you sincerely pray to them, I am sure that definitely they will rescue you from this storm, and they will help you and save you. So when Makan Shah Lubana prayed, and he promised 500 gold coins for the Langar of the Master, he said, O oh Master, if you will save my ship, I will give 500 gold coins in your Langar for the Sangha. So then that ship was saved, and he went across. After that, he asked people, Who is the Guru sitting on the Gadi, or seat of Guru Nanak? People told him that Guru Hare Krishna had been in Delhi, and before he left his body in his childhood, Guru <coughs> Hare Krishna had said, the next master is at Baba Bakala. Baba Bakala is the name of a place. So Makan Shah Lubana went to Baba Bakala, where he saw that 22 people were claiming to be the next Guru. They belonged to the same family as that of Guru Teg Bahadur, and they all had their own followers, people who were saying, he is the true master, and all the others are false. When Makan Shah saw those 22 people, he thought, there are so many gurus. Here, how can I find out what? The one who really saved me. Instead of 500 gold coins, he went to each so-called guru and bowed down to them, and he gave five gold coins to each. He thought, the real guru will speak out then I will have no difficulty in finding them. So after giving five coins to each one of those 22 people, he asked if there was anyone else who anyone considered to be the guru. Someone replied that there is some person sitting underground called Tega, but he is also called Mad because he always remains there and meditates. From the very beginning, Guru Teg Bahadur had spent time in meditation, and in that underground room, he meditated a lot. I had the privilege of having the darshan of that place. So he was meditating there, and when Makan Shah found that there was someone else, he went to that underground room, and just as he did with the others, he also put five gold coins in front of Guru Teg Bahadur. When Guru Teg Bahadur saw only five coins, he took off his shirt and showed Makan Shah the place where the nails from the ship had pierced his body when he was saving the ship from the storm. He told him, look here, dear one, my body suffered a lot in saving your ship, and you promised me 500 gold coins for my langa, but now you are only giving me five. Where are the other 495 coins? So Makin Shah knew that Guru Teg Bahadur was the true master, and when he met him, he left all the coins there, and he climbed up on the top of the roof, and he waved a piece of cloth, shouting, I have found the real food. I have found a real guru. When the other 22 people saw this, they packed up their things and they left that place. <coughs> but they were so envious of Guru Teg Bahadur that when Makan Shah brought him out for the first time to do the satsang, one of them even shot at Guru Teg Bahadur. Fortunately, he was not hit. 
The bullet hit the wall. That wall still exists. And Sanchi says that he has seen that place also. And that's the story of Makhan the Trader, how he was saved by Guru Tegu.